Devarim, Deuteronomy 24. When a man has taken a woman and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he has found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a sefer of divorcement, and give it in her hand, and send her out of his house. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's woman. And if the latter man hate her, and write her a sefer of divorcement, and gives it in her hand, and sends her out of his house. Or if the latter man die, which took her to be his woman, her former man, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his woman. After that she is defiled, for that is abomination before Yahuwah. And you shall not cause at the land to sin, which Yahuwah, Eloheka, gives you for an inheritance, rather inheritance. When a man has taken a new woman, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year and shall cheer up at his woman which he has taken. No man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge, for he takes a man's life to pledge. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Yahshara'el, and makes merchandise of them, or sells him, rather merchandise of him, or sells him, then that, chi then that thief shall die, and you shall put evil away from among you. Take heed in the plague of leprosy, that you guard it, rather that you guard diligently, and do according to all that the priests the Leviim shall teach you, as I commanded them, so ye shall guard to do. Remember at what Yahuwah Eloheka did unto Miriam, by the way, after that ye were come forth out of Mitzrayim. When you lend your brother anything, you shall not go into his house to fetch his pledge. You shall stand abroad, and the man to whom you lend shall bring out at the pledge abroad unto you. And if the man be poor, you shall not sleep with his pledge. In any case, you shall deliver him at the pledge again when the sun goes down that he may sleep in his own raiment and bless you. And it shall be righteousness unto you before Yahuwah Eloheka. You shall not oppress a hired servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of your brethren or of your strangers that are in your land within your gates. At his day you shall give him his hire, neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and sets at his heart upon it, lest he cry against you unto El Yahuwah, and it be sin unto you. The fathers shall not be put to death for the children. Neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. 
You shall not pervert the judgment of the stranger, nor of the fatherless, nor take a widow's raiment to pledge. But you shall remember that you were a bondman in Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah Eloheka redeemed you thence. Therefore, I command you to do at this thing. When you cut down your harvest in your field and have forgot a sheaf in the field, you shall not go again to fetch it. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that Yahuwah Eloheka may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive tree, you shall not go over the bows again. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, you shall not glean it afterward. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. And you shall remember that you were a bondman in the land of Mitzrayim. Therefore, I command you to do at this thing.